Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome back to Yuppie Psycho. Previously we went wandering around after that killer party, and along the way we found some friends who were all a little bit tied up. Alright, so we're gonna go for Hugo. Uh, in comparison to the last episode, I still got a little bit of hay fever left. But I did take a break, so it's, it's not as bad. So we, I, I didn't want the final episode to be fully all kind of that kind of voice, so it's a little bit there. It's working now. I'll try pressing a button. Oh, so that was a screen. Damn screen. God, this is what you do with your life. You think I'll ever like notice and think like, hey, wait a minute. Who keeps turning on the... Keeps turning on the thing. Now let's try it, see if he leaves a dagger. Yeah, he did. Whoop, 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 whoop! The dagger, I have to hide it. I can't let you go see me with it. Oof. Where is it? It's not here. Buh, 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 buh. Buh, buh, buh. Past your neck. D dang it. He caught me. I gotta reload. I'll see the dialogue, what the dialogue is, though. Have you come to know the great secret of Sintracorp? The true identity of Super Toad is a Hugo. It's me, Hugo. Were you trying to pull a Dio moment? You're in shock. You didn't expect that. I want to talk to you. Of course, you can tell me your concerns and suggestions. A CEO is here to help his employees. Well, would you get off the table? Oh, what a fool. I want to know. Wait, you're not still drunk, are you? You say very hurtful things when you are. No, I'm not. I'm not. I want to know why you've been harassing me. You've been staying in my way this whole time. Every step I took. What have I done to you? Look, Brian, I'll be honest with you. I knew you were a hunter and that that could jeopardize my promotion. I tried to go easy way. I told you not to take your job too seriously. That you should just wander around like everyone else. But you turned out to be very stubborn and kept making progress. That's why I tried to get you out of the way. I don't get it. What's your relationship with the witch? Oh man, are you a private detective? Relax, little man. Without the witch, I couldn't have made this far. I'll put prey on a plate for her, send people her way. As long as it's in my best interest, of course. But as dangerous as she is, how come she hasn't killed you yet? Well, we always keep a couple of tricks in your pocket. Does the name Corvo mean anything to you? He told me everything I needed to know to keep the witch in check. I saw Corvo's body in that poison pool. You... you killed him. <laughs> Haven't you seen the fat ass I have? I could never kill anyone, Brian. It's the witch who does it. Don't give me that face. I've been working on this for a lot of years, okay? You are. I've only been here a day and everything you've done. I can't imagine all the people you've trampled on all these years. Don't you think about anyone but yourself? What about all the people who came to celebrate your birthday today? You don't care, of course. Get the fuck out of here. I'm no more selfish than you are. All day long, I've only seen you do things for your own good. 
That's not true. You came in here with your tail between your legs, making me feel sorry for you. A class G, poor thing. Better directly into the fifth floor of the world's largest company. It's not my fault that I belong to a lower class. And besides, this company takes advantage of poor people like me and uses them as bait for the witch. Of all of us! Everyone in the company is bait. Not just you. Brian Pasnek. You're lucky you have a last name. You know what mine is? I, I thought it was Hugo. Hugo is not my last name. In fact, it's not even my name. When you're aboard a Class R, Class R, they just put a number on you. Having a last name would mean having a family. Having met your parents. That's a privilege. Are you a Class R? What do you care? I didn't know that. Because I don't go around proclaiming it. But hey, one day, if you want to have a cup of coffee, I could tell you all about the shitty life I had until I got here. Get this straight, Pasternak. No one can trample numbers more rightfully than I can. No one in this company deserves suspicion more than I do. Nobody, Brian. Well, is there anything else? Uh, no. Perfect, well, you're fired. What? Despite our differences, I agree with you, Brian. Since the corruption and high-random people take on the witch, I don't commit to ending it. The least I can do for you is give you a letter of dismissal and let you go home. Is that what you wanted? To escape this nightmare? Yeah, of course. Take this. Just go down to the lobby and go out the door. The same way you came in this morning. What are you still doing here? It's over, Brian. You can go home now. Just go down to the lobby and go out the door the same way you came in this morning. We just turn on the remote while I'm gone. How you feel? Turn on your remotes. Did you fix the elevator yet? Damn it. Now can I steal a dagger again here or is he just gonna sit there? No, yeah, he, he's fully committed to just being there. So it's a one-shot thing. Alright, we'll actually just go and get this ending right now and get it over with. It's strange, but having the dismissal liar, I feel like I'm no longer tied to the company. I can finally go back to my proper place, safe and sound. I don't know what happened to my workmates, and I couldn't say goodbye to Sintra. But who cares, right? I never should have come to this hell in the first place. Ending. Fired. Oh look, it has a cutscene. I did a kind of like inverse of the opening. I suppose I'll go and get the um it's like a number ending, I think, if we leave in the beginning. I'll get that one real quick before I go on to the other like more meaty endings. Ooh, there's some bad implications there towards the end. Alright, so let's do not sign the contract. I have a bad feeling about this. I better not sign it. On the other hand, having my first job at such an important company, with all these credits. Whew. Then we're just gonna walk away. I think this ending was maybe in the demo too. It's been a while, so I don't fully remember. Hello, it's me again. Uh, look, I I've given it some thought, and I've decided I'm not interested in the job. I don't know if I can go. Uh-huh.
I leave without taking the job, yes. I think this job just isn't for me. I still don't know why they specifically chose Brian. All I have to think about is maybe it's just they're disposable, because he does come from a lower class. Um, but the previous ones weren't really disposable. They were like super, um, you know, spiritual people. So maybe Brian, like I said, maybe, maybe there's a twist at the end. Brian is somehow linked to the witch or um, maybe an incarnation of the, the father or one of the family members or so on. Or maybe it's something really weird, like he's a descendant of Ray. Let's put the batteries in. Ah, uh, I flipped it too soon. Whoops. I gotta wait till he does a spinning thing and puts the dagger down. There. No, I gotta do it again. Okay. Down. Should be there now. Move fast. I run for my life. Yep, run, 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 run. <laughs> the Ritual Dagger FME that serves both as witch puppet and protection against the witch. So he's had this entire time, that's why he's been safe from the witch. It's like being a huge dick. Oh my god, I hate these guys. Alright, let's do the end game. Wait! There's one more thing. I got the FME dagger. Hugo, co-worker, had it. Give it to me. This dagger is dangerous. I'm not letting you need my sister with this. Oh, okay. Let's get moving. I guess there was no point to that. It's this way. Follow me. Out of the way, plebs. Out of the way! That's right. You poor plebs. So the witch is on the second floor. It's where my house is. Well, where it was. When I know what this area is for. What are all these planks doing here? Did you live here? Yeah, I think so. Although it's all a little changed. I feel like that's a big change. Is something wrong? I don't know. Brian, you wait here. I think I better talk to Demori alone first. Okay, alright. As you wish. I'm sure we came through here, but now there's only a wall. There's some photos of the Sintra family. Uh-oh. Everything is charred and black and it smells burnt. It's when they burned her. Ray? It's remains of a big bonfire. The walls burn just like the rest of the room. It's a witch symbol. It's a symbol of a snake. The same one that appears in the witch's papers. 
They keep calling it a witch, but it's really like a minor god, I would say. Yeah, let's copy my face. Must. Oh, God. I guess his bloodstain's gonna be in the eye. It makes sense. He's a very visual person. This is the end of the road. Where could Ray be? Unless. <sighs> I guess I could get in the water. Even though I hate swimming. Let's go. Maybe I could just wait in a little, maybe knee deep, and take a quick look. Oh god. The end game's gonna be a water level. Nice. Good thing I had that one upgrade. I don't see anything useful here. That includes you, dead body. Even if you're alive, you probably wouldn't be useful, though. Poor poor, no. <laughs> Three bodies. One body. Two bodies. Ah, ah, ah. There's a weird pulsing thing over there. It's empty like my soul. Uh, one body. I'm trying to see if like a hint of the bodies. Or if they're just there. Oh, I imagine this is oxygen. Like Sonic, if I didn't have the upgrade, I would have had to use this. Yeah, nobody. Nah, buddy. Oh, there's one more. I didn't see that one. Nah, buddy. Nah, buddy. There's nothing interesting here. Do I go left or right? Take left first. Got the guy has a pencil. Come again, I thought. Let's backtrack a little. And quite fully explore down here. Oh, God! That's scary. Oh god, it's a candy bar. Secret. Mom and Dad. Maybe this will lead up to that... Yeah, see, I, I could have circumvented all those mines if I didn't have the, the pencils. Smart. Ooh. No, it's a trap, but it's so tempting. Wait, what? Oh, ultimate healing item. Cool. I feel like I need to go this way, because it, it, it kind of gave me a pencil in case I didn't have enough. But I could be wrong. No, it was just a candy bar. Bikes and then swim like you mean it. Whew. 
Phew. Why did I come in here? This is an endless labyrinth. I'm sure Ray is perfectly fine and I'm a fool for throwing myself in the water. The best thing is for me to turn around and go back the way I came in. Brian. Oh god. Kate, is that you? Ain't no stinking air bubbles. I'm Brian. Oh! Oh! Oh god, a snake! Where am I? Is this the office? No, it's not possible. My head hurts. Why do I have a bandage? Oh god, we're slowly getting bounded. Loot! Okay, so I can save? Properly. Two pencils. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Yes, Kate's floor. Huh, exactly the amount I need for these two mines. Nothing interesting here. Two. Two batteries. Number two. Two batteries. Stole the candy. <laughs> There's a snake there. Oh god! Oh! Ears, maybe? Nose? I don't need my nose, right? Well, I have unlimited breathing anyways, I think. Or I'm gonna find out. Thing. All right, anything's gonna work. Oof. Well, I guess we're up too. Well, you better not have a snake in it. items in these. Nice. Oh god, there's another snake! E mouth. Hands. Well, I don't want to do eyes. Ears. Oh god! It's legit! This is weird! We're doing a quiet let's play. Well... Man, I gotta carry the entire game. We're gonna make the sounds. There's a small hole. I can't see anything inside. Except my soul. Four. Three batteries. One slice of bread.
One of these is a snake. Snake be gone. Snake be gone. So when I see double of something, I should like run the hell away. Let's see where this leads. God, this is a little weird. It's a cool, it's an interesting gimmick though. I'm worried if I use hands, like I can't pick up anything anymore. Like you're just doomed. The water thing might be a snake. Okay, and then I can move the other one. I guess. Don't be a snake. Okay, it wasn't a snake. Thankfully. Oh my god, it's a cup of coffee. And I see a witch paper which seems useless. What is actually going on with the elevator? Oh, I can go in it. And there's a devil in there. For some reason. Well, we did move this. Could be something there. Whoop, 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 whoop. Loot. Six. Two, four, six, eight. Man, wealth, taste. Uh, okay, that worked. Um. Oh god. So the giant one was Kate? Brian. Brian! Maybe I should have talked to the devil while I had the chance. Are you okay? You were close to the exit. Did you run out of air? No, I, I don't know. I, I was trapped. It's hard to explain. It was like being kept a prisoner in a nightmare. Well, there's probably other endings. I'll probably talk to the devil next run. I thought that... that... easy. I understand you better than anyone, Brian. Now you are free. Oh! Maybe Kate's the reincarnation of the mom, and Brian's the reincarnation of the dad. That's really awkward, actually. The, the, the girl. What? What does this mean? Two rays? What's my body doing there? Maybe there's a real witch. Is that you? It's impossible. I could say I'm buried in the mausoleum of my parents. Wait a second, that's not true. What? I match again to the cemetery, and your grave was empty. You turn out Domori actually was just evil. This isn't your just your body. Domori's inside it. You goddamn monster. I knew you were behind all this. It's good to see you too. Thank you, Brian. Without you, this reunion would not have been possible. The snake is separate from the Demori. Mmm. This is becoming Monogatari here. Stop messing around and let Demori go. She doesn't belong to you. Funny, 
you should say that. You're the people who brought her like she was an animal. I remind you that I've been with her for thousands of years. I'm her only true friend. You think that you're her friend? Ha! Huh, you're just an ornament. A worthless trinket. I'm her sister, you understand? Her sister. <laughs> her sister, she says. You're so naive. Stop hiding and explain to me why my Domore has my body. So much time has passed since then. I don't remember. Things have changed a lot around here. The final boss is a giant snake. I see how well you've done. How fat you're getting. Oh, it's Orichi. Did you have fun corrupting everything around you? You don't know much. Now I only have one last thing to break. Let's see what Domori thinks of all this when I wake her up. Don't you dare go near. Never more. Oh god. I think you have a robot body. Brian! Brian! Wake her up! H how? Wake up Domori! I have full health, let's go! Bell? This might wake Domori up, but I have to be closer to her. Stick! Stab the snake! Come on! Get up there! Mori's gonna have her body, and Ray's gonna have the robot body. <laughs> this house is gonna go down. Hey, little sister. I can't stay and play with you today. Some of my friends are coming to the pool, and... Don't look at me like that, okay? Honestly, I'm sick of being stuck in here playing with dolls. I don't care if Daddy gets angry, I'm not a child anymore. Oh, she started feeling jealousy. See the snake symbolism. It is Monokatari. Watching you cry breaks my heart. Why does someone so innocent have to suffer like this over and over again? And in the end, as usual, there's just two of us left. Don't be that way, ma'am. I just want to comfort you. If you want that girl to be your friend so badly, I know a way you can make it forever. You just have to use your own powers, ma'am. I'm sorry, little sister. I'm an idiot. I didn't know that I was hurting your feelings. But wait a second, but then... The family never burned the witch. Instead, they burned you, Ray. It doesn't matter anymore, Brian. Oof. This is awkward. It's an awkward twist. The important thing is that we're both together again, and that will never happen again. No, it does matter. There's still something important left to do. What do you mean? Put things in their place. And with Demori's help, maybe we can do it. Here we go, you're fired! 
Robocop. It's gonna be a Robocop ending, watch. Pasternak. So. What, what are you doing here? I want to know why you've been harassing me all this time. Stop this nonsense. You stole my dagger. No, confess to it. Give it back. Come on. Put a price on it. If that's what you want, I'll pay you anything. I can quit your whole family's class, too. Anything, Pastor Neck. But you have to give me back that dagger. I apologize for everything I've done to you, okay? I'll get down my knees if you like. Don't you realize that I'm the boss now? The witch will have me in her crosshairs. Without that dagger. Please, Brian. No. I can't give it back to you. I don't have it anymore. But you can relax. Because I've done my job. I've dealt with the witch. What? Oh, congratulations. Then I terminate your contract and then you'll get the 20,000 credit bonus immediately. Wait. First, I want you to meet a friend of mine. Hello, Hugo. I've been looking forward to meeting you. This is Ray Sintra, the heiress of the family. According to the company's bylaws, she has the right to be the CEO of Sintra Corp. What are you talking about? That's impossible. You're not gonna get in my way, Brian. That girl disappeared a long time ago. If this really were her, she'd be a lot older. How do you intend to improve it? Magic. <laughs> well... I mean, you could just take a DNA test. I mean, that would probably prove it too. Hey, you. Get down from there. <laughs> Did you see that? The company recognizes me. It's all mine now, Mr. Frog. This is some kind of spell. I'm sorry, Hugo, but it's true. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. We can make a deal. What are you talking about? What kind of deal? Well, we could... There's no deal. There's no deal. <laughs> Fired. Fired. Crow. Oh, God. Oh, God, you're being mocked with your own... Frog mask. She's the witch. You're wrong, Mr. Frog. I'm not the witch. But my sister sure is. This is all your fault, Brian. You go. You fucked everything up. All of it. Oh, no. You won't do that. And then the day it was saved. Well, it's finally over. I have my dismissal letter. I can leave this madhouse and go home. My parents won't believe everything that's happened to me. Well, everyone's alive. Sosa, how are you doing? My eyes are sore. What about the party? I feel strange. We were attacked by the witch. So we're all dead. Am I a ghost? No, no, it's okay. I mentioned you the witch's curse. Unbelievable, Pasternak. You are a professional access terrorist of a high level. I was sure it. Even if you denied it, you'd look like someone with great extrasensory powers. If you say so. By the way, what happened to our office partner? Hugo. You can relax. He won't bother you anymore. He's been fired. <laughs> I could have not fought a bit better punishment for him. I must have completely destroyed him. Yes, quite. By the way, I've seen nine of the Video Club Mysterio tapes. I also have the last one, but I haven't seen it yet. You found them all on your first day. We're making you a VIP member of the club. Here, I had a reserve for you. Nice. Thank you. If you take a look at it, maybe you'll find the mystery. Whatever happened to Hugo, anyways? I always didn't want to throw him on a window. I was hoping for the Robocop thing. Hello, Chapman. Please call me Tony. Okay. Brian, I owe you an apology. 
Perhaps I was too quick to judge you as poor. Maybe you're rich in spirit. Which is kind of still poor, but less so. I've been such an asshole to you. So, today for the first time in my life, I felt what it's like to be of lower class, abandoned with a rample just once more, just one more nameless drone, forced to work on stupid tasks with no one to care. It has led me to reflect. I thought that because of my stats and my family, I had a place set aside for me that stood out from the rest. But I've come to realize this is something you have to earn by yourself. And it's because of you, Brian. The greatest character development in history right here. Me. Someone like you from the suburbs who's made his way to the top floors, making it clear that no one has ever given you anything without ever losing that humility so typical of that lower classes. Helping your workmates at that sad party, always talking to everyone in a good, kind way, even me after I insulted you repeatedly. You've shown me that you're a great person, and that's what inspired me. Gee, I don't know what to say, Tony. Wait, that look on your face. You're not gonna yell at me, are you? <laughs> Are you deaf? Why don't you wash your ears? I told you I've changed. What do you want me to yell at you? I don't know, maybe Brian's into that. No, 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 that's alright. Told you. The greatest story ever told. Hello, Doshi. Are you alright? Doshi, man. We gotta go and do another party. You and me. You know how to rock. Let's go. Hey, dude. Tell me you didn't get rid of what's in my lap. Oh, just stop by and she, she's not there. Oh no, she's alive. The robot? I finished it. What? She's on the 10th floor right now. Dosh. Okay. Can I, can I go back to the 10th floor? Here comes the king of the party. You drank yourself into oblivion, Parsnip. We can hear the party at my place if you want. No, no, no. Oh, but look what tart you are, Malone. Because I hang out with bad company like you. I think I'll leave you two alone. Can I, can I go see what Doshi's up to before I talk to Kate? No. So he just went up there, okay. Kate! What are you doing here? Some first day, huh? You can say that again. Here, I made you this. Oh, it's a cup of coffee. I thought that now that the day's over, we could finally have that coffee I promised you. I told the view from the rooftop is amazing. Ah. I was just about to take the first train to the suburbs. I don't know if I'll have time. Oh, you're quitting your job? Yes, I have the dismissal letter here. It's hard to explain. Let's just say I wasn't cut out for this job. It was all a mistake. Are you going to stay? I know it sounds crazy with everything that's happened. But I think it's best for me. I've learned a lot today, and I'm sure that tomorrow everything will be easier. And that every day that passes will get better. It's gonna be tough, I'm sure. But I guess it's what this is all about, isn't it? I'm sorry you have to leave, Brian. Come visit us soon. Remember, we're friends now. Let's go have that coffee. I dig the OST. I know it's from the guy who did Valhalla, so that's probably why. <laughs> so anyway, there's a lot more endings we're gonna get. So, let's go through them. And let's just enjoy this nice scene. Corvo. Hey, Tadpole. 
My work at the company is almost done. I have everything I need to kill her. What? Come on, drink with me. It's been a rough ride up here. But you're leaving already? You promised me I've helped you, you returned the favor. Don't get mad, Tadpole. I can still help you. Now, deny me what you wanted. I want to have power. You want what? I want to be above everyone. To get to the top. I want to have the magical powers and be able to fly free. Fly? <laughs> what are you talking about? Just like you. Then, I want to be like you. You said you can crap me any wish using your voodoo magic, right? Yeah, I know, man, but... You can't leave until you keep your promise. Take this. Cape. That's where Super Hugo comes from. The frog. It's my magic cloak. I'm giving it to you. Magic? Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. I'll help you get your wish. It was really just a rag I picked up in the bathroom. But it works slowly. It can take years. And well, you have to do your part too. And if you want to fly, you're gonna have to start jumping first. You're a liar and a drunk. I don't want your dirty rag. Hey, come back here. Well, I guess he always wanted to fly. It's not quite directly out of the window, but I'll take it. This is not the way out, Brian. It's right behind this wall, and I were you, I'd get out the elevator as soon as possible. Stop running away now. Aren't you a hunter? Go out there and find five of those elusive white parasites. Those parasites are the ones affecting the whole company. What? You mean the snakes? Maybe there's like an alternate way to like get through this section by getting bit by all the snakes. I'll try that one later. So this is the one we didn't get the dagger, so it's gonna be a little different, I think. Pastor Neck. Have you come to know the great secret of Center Corp? The true identity of Super Toad? It's me, Hugo. Yay. You're in shock. You didn't expect that. I want to talk to you. Of course, you can only consider the suggestions. Since this is all the same dialogue as the, um, where I failed to get the dagger, I'm going to skip through it. So we'll skip to where the other characters come in to confront him. You're a coward, Hugo. Oh, really? Me? Then what are you, then? I'm not. Huh. I have no problem admitting that something scares me that I can't do it. I'm not hiding behind a mask. I trust others. And they help me achieve everything that seems impossible. Whatever you say, Brian, you have the power of friendship. What have you got out of it? I'm the king of the world. What about you? I've dealt with the witch. What? Congratulations. Then I terminate your contract and you'll get the 20,000 credit bonus immediately. Wait. First I want you to meet a friend of mine. I want to see if the dagger comes up here. Hello, Hugo. I've been looking forward to meeting you. This is Ray Sintra, the heiress of the family. According to the company's bylaws, she has rights to be CEO of Sintra Corp. What are you talking about? That's impossible. You're not gonna get in my way, Brian. They go disappeared a long time ago. If this really w were really her, she'd be a lot older. How do you intend to prove it? Well... <laughs> hey you, get down from there. <laughs> Did you see that? The company recognizes me. It's all mine now, Mr. Frog. This is some kind of spill. I'm sorry, Hugo, but it's true. <laughs> wait, 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 we can make a deal. What are you talking about? 
What kind of deal? Well, we could... There's no deal, there's no deal. <laughs> Fired. Bro. Fired. She's the witch. Yep, there's a dagger. A dagger! She's the witch. Oh god. I'm not the witch, stupid. But my big sister sure is. Are you dead, Hugo? <laughs> oh, as you know, it's whatever. Alright, I've already talked to all the employees, so I'll just skip through that real quick. Alright, let's just leave then. Ending back home. A little similar to the termination papers ending. I'm going to say the one of Kate's probably a little more better. I think my epilogue. Hey, this bathroom smells like ass, doesn't it? I think I know what's causing it. Look at this. Is it a dead body on the ground? Hey, you scum. Yeah, you. Let's see you wash up and change your clothes once in a while. You stink. Mr. Hugo. Oh, that's a guy's identity. Mr. Hugo. So one post-epilogue scene was what happens to him after the game, and the other one is how he started. Hmm.
Hey everyone, this is Manly Bass Hero, and that is it for Yuppie Psycho. A quite long series, I was actually a little bit surprised myself. I think this is actually quite a bit longer than Count Lucanor, and um, bigger in scale. Uh, and I've had the rate to two right off the bat. I'm gonna say I like Yuppie, Yuppie Psycho more than Count Lucanor. I, I feel some people might like the other one more because of its kind of fantasticalness, and it's a little bit less weird. It had some surreal parts. For the most part, it was a little bit less weird. It was more of a kind of like labyrinth, you know, Jim Henson-esque kind of almost horror fantasy game. Yuppie Psycho is very... It's it's a little bit out there, but not in a um, bad way. It's never too surreal where it's just like, oh, let's make this as crazy, as weird as possible. Or let's make it so ham-fisted and like, symbolism, like, down with the establishment, man. Like, no, it, it doesn't really go there. It, it's its own... Kind of its own unique story. It, it merged spiritualism with a bit of modern, it's a modern commentary about the, the kind of office environment. So it reminds me a bit of um, there was there was a movie. It, it started that one guy with like Huey Lewis and News, American Psycho. So it reminded me of American Psycho a little bit, uh, where there was this kind of loss of sanity, but everything's very literal here. And then we have the whole kind of Shinto angle going here. So it's an interesting mix. Overall, I'm pretty satisfied with it. The ending... The ending's good. It's... I feel like there could have been a little bit more... oomph to the, the fret of when we actually met the snake. It's kind of over very quickly. But aside from that, it didn't have to be drawn out or anything. Um, and I, I would have liked to have seen a little bit more Hugo at the end. But maybe it's kind of fitting. He kind of was small time. Maybe it's like a little bit of a just desserts, per se, where Hugo really didn't matter in the end. He, he was just a, an oppositional thing, but the real thing was to circumvent him, which we did, and then he gets kicked out, and then he becomes Super Hugo, which scratched my itch a little bit for throwing him out a window. So, he got some backstory. He did, you know, he fell from a little bit, but he's still, you know, he's still kind of a dick, so I didn't feel too bad for Hugo. I didn't really like him. But that was kind of nice. It's, the game is overall pretty well-rounded, and um, I, I was really surprised. I, I didn't think this game would be that well-rounded when I first kind of got into this and played the demo. I was like, well, maybe it'll just be a little weird and quirky and it'll be some horror part. But no, it, it's a relatively unique, kind of well-rounded story. That's the best way to describe it. There is that little thing where I, I do wonder if Pasternak and um, Kate were reincarnations of his... Um, of, uh, rather, the daughter's parents. They could have been. There was that weird thing where she called him daddy, and um, Kate had a very unique. Uh, you know, I had the almost kind of like the geisha kind of uh, outfit on the top, except from just you know just being a normal like mummy thing. So I do wonder that. I feel like that's a little weird because why was Brian the one that was summoned? Because like I said, I thought at first maybe it's only pe disposable people, and I think some were, but they summoned like a lot of talented, like, people who could have maybe caught the witch, and almost did. So, there had to be something unique to Brian to have him be summoned. So I feel like maybe that's a little very deepest lore subplot that could be a thing. It's not a big deal. But that is it for the game. Like, for the most part, the plot's straightforward. There's nothing too much else to discuss except for that little deepest lore thing, like I said. Uh, solid overall. The sprite work is very simple, but it's detailed where it counts, which is the cutscenes, the portraits, the... Most of the enemies. Okay, so there, there is one drawback. I would say that the enemy design isn't too good. You have some good enemies, but you only have many of them. You have the, the guy with the thing on his back, you have the one spider, which you never see again, uh, and you have those stealth robot sections, which are atrocious. But for the most part, it, it could have used some more weird office-style enemies. That's why I would only think I would say. But the length is perfect, so I don't feel like you really need to pad it out. Like, oh, like, has that in their enemy section? So I wouldn't... I would hesitate for them to do that. I would just like to see maybe something unique in some other areas. That's about it. Also, I still have my hay fever a little bit. Uh, I, I was trying to purposely delay the final couple episodes to see if I could maybe time it out to have my voice be a little bit better. Um, and for the final one in particular, I did it another day, seeing him like I would heal, so I didn't have that as, you know, my finale, but... So, forgive me for that, if that, you know, affected your viewership a little bit, but I also want to make sure I got the video out for people who are following the series and were watching it. I don't want to, like, just say, like, oh, I'm gonna take four days off to heal. 
So, a bit of a compromise there, but that's about it. But yeah, um, it's overall a solid product. I think it's a leap from Count Lucanor. And, you know, I think they have another game they're working on that was... It was announced long before Yuppie Psycho. And I don't know if maybe it was retold into Yuppie Psycho, because it was very different looking. It was more of like a Silent Hill kind of traditional horror game. So... It, it could have been, because they've gone silent on it. But if that game is still in development, I'm assuming they might be going back to it, taking lessons they learned from the Yuppie Psycho. But either way, I would say that um, the developers of this game, um, the series now, the games they've made, uh, I'm actually pretty hopeful for any future products they make, because I think I said Yuppie Psycho was very solid. You know? It's it's not like, oh, life-changing amazing or anything. Like, no, I'm not saying like that. Or it's going to be like, oh, it's going to make a huge fandom and make millions of dollars, like all these other hit horror games. Like, no, it's, you know, it's not like that, but in a sea of so much kind of very lame duck horror, or lame duck concepts, or retried concepts or anything, uh, Yuppie Psycho was, uh, you know, like that perfect mixture of unique, kind of interesting premise, um, and decent execution. So, uh, you know, I'd highly recommend this game to uh, anyone in the future if I ever, like, say, like, oh, what good horror game to play? It's pixel based. Like, oh, Yuppie Psycho. But yeah, anyway, so thank you all for watching me play Yuppie Psycho. I'll see you guys later, and take it easy. Go listen to Huey Lewis and the Booze. Dun, dun, dun. Oh yeah, copyright, can't sing that song. But yeah, American Psycho, also a good movie. Go check it out. Later.